Today we got some pastels and they got hollow. Hey everyone, it's Crystal and today I have the spring collection from Floor de Lee Polish. This is a five polish set and it is gorgeous hollow pastels. We're gonna start off with velvet petals. This is a really pretty color. I'm really torn on how to describe it. It looks like pink and orange and this beautiful mix of sunset in a bottle. That's the only way I can describe it. And under the lights, it has this kind of almost bluish purple shifting color tint. And it's packed with holographic micro glitter. And it's like a polish orgasm in a bottle. Oh, I don't know what to say about it. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite of the whole collection though, but I'm in love with it. Just to clarify that, just to make sure everyone's aware. This goes on really smooth. Pretty much all the Florida Lee polishes I've gotten go on amazing. She has this really smooth, great formula down. It's not too runny, it's not too thick, it goes on your brush perfectly, so you have a lot of control. This went two coats, done. And look, look at that beautiful shift. And look at that beautiful holographic micro glitter. The shade is gorgeous. Next up is Fairy Wings. This one, once again, same great formula, went on really well. This took two coats as well. This one dries a little more sheer than, fair, than velvet petals and fairy wings drives I have like one of these moments every video where I can't talk Ugh. fairy wings dries a little more sheer than velvet petals ha ah, I got it out somebody give me an award oh and the nice smeared polish all over my cuticles I guess you can keep the award magic of cleanup brushes anyways this is a gorgeous lavender shade. Goes on perfect in two coats, great formula. Also packed with the holographic micro, 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 micro glitter. Holographic micro glitter. And this has more of a silver sheen to it in the light. I'm not editing out any of, any of these mess ups, I'm just gonna keep them. You know what, deal with it guys. But as you can see, beautiful, gorgeous. Next we've got Wishing Well. This is a more blue shade. I don't want to call it like light sky blue. It's more of just like navy blue gone pastel. But this is gorgeous. And if you just heard a weird noise in the background, my cats are chasing around an empty box. <laughs> First world cat problems. They can't find what should be in the box. I don't know. This went on very sheer for me. I almost thought this was going to take three coats, but it didn't. It actually dries darker, see, as you can see there. This is beautiful. In the light though, I felt like it didn't have as much of a shimmer and shift in the color as the first two. I feel like it had some definite silver coming out, but it wasn't as overwhelming as with velvet petals and fairy wings. I mean, it was more subtle the way it shifted in the light. Next we have Dewdrop. This is a gorgeous kind of aquamarine color is what I'm calling it because it's not really true green, but it's not a blue, it's kind of in between. It's like a pastel teal, which to me is more along that aquamarine spectrum. This one is so pretty. This almost went on in one coat, even with my stained, disgusting nail tips, which was really astonishing for me. But as you can see here, it goes on, it looks really great, and then when it dried, it was a little sheer. Which isn't a problem, I'm fine with two or three coats of polish. It's if your polish takes like six coats that I'm done, because we're not going to Polish Mountain. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. I have no desire to go to Polish Mountain. I have way too much other stuff I have to do. <laughs> and you see, two coats, gorgeous. And all that hollow really comes through. Here, this to me almost had, I don't want to say gold, but there was a definite 
hint of something besides silver going on in the light. The last color is Songbird. This is really gorgeous in the bottle though. This one has deceptive bottle syndrome, which is where it looks one way in the bottle, but then it doesn't look that way on your nails. In the bottle, it looks lime green. I'm gonna be completely honest. When I got my bottle out, I was like, I thought this was yellow. I've seen swatches of this, it was yellow. This isn't yellow, my batch is ruined. And then I started putting it on and was like, oh, it is yellow. What the hell? And I realized it's got deceptive bottle syndrome. This is the only color that I actually needed three coats on, but if I didn't have stained nails from all the polish swatching and the nail art and the random stuff I do, then I wouldn't have needed a third coat. As you can see here, my nail tip is what's sticking out, and it's sticking out because it is sanded. It's sanded. It's stained. <laughs> Such a dark orange color from all the polish. I'm starting to get rid of some of the staining. I've been better about my base coats, but see how gorgeous this is? And there you can really see the hollow. I love the second picture. That was my favorite of it. Here I'm going to show you everything on color wheel because I took and I put these and I mattified them. Here's the regular one. You can see that. And then the matte one next to each of them. And the matte actually, it dulls the shine, but it's still really pretty. Overall, I love these colors. I didn't expect to love them as much as I actually love them. Like, I already have nail art designs thought of in my head. Anyway, overall, gorgeous set, great maker, really cares about people. Like, when my custom broke a week ago in that tragic shelf incident, she made a new one from the swatch and has already shipped it to me, and it should be here today or tomorrow. I mean, she is awesome. Check her out. You're not going to be disappointed in her polishes or her customer service. She's just amazing. Anyways, I'm going to link the entire collection in the description box as well as her shop in general down there. As usual, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you want to annoy me, leave a comment. If you have a collection you want to see swatch that I have, don't have, you don't know, leave a comment on that and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, you guys are awesome. See you next time.